Now welcome back. So we had cloudy skies meet our way through the day today. A lot cooler with those high temperatures not really making it out of the 30s. Here's a look at our tower cam time lapse in North Platte. Notice that the North Platte area barely got any snow showers across the region, just mainly cloudy skies. Most of the snow showers were off to our south and off to our west. We kept the clouds and that's keeping temperatures up into the evening. Let's take a look at the high temperatures first. We reached our high of 37 at North Platte, Ogallala 35 at Imperial and Valentine and upper 30s at Broken Bow and Lexington, just a few degrees below the average high of 41. So temperatures really aren't that bad even when we cool down. Now as for the temperatures right now, we are relatively mild for this time of night and this time of year as lower 30s are across the board from Ogallala, North Platte, Imperial, Lexington and up toward the Broken Bow area at 31. 28 right now at Valentine. Here's a look at your wind speed and direction. Now the winds have flipped around from a northerly to more of a northwesterly direction. That'll dry us out a little. Wind speeds in most places 10 to 20 miles per hour. Still a little breezy out toward Broken Bow with those winds around 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at the Doppler radar. So a thick band of clouds is moving through through North Platte as of right now, but uh, the snow shower activity stretching from Lexington down toward Curtis points off to the south out toward McCook and just exiting the Imperial area as we will have partly to mostly cloudy skies as we make our way through the rest of the evening and into the overnight. Low pressure system has moved just off to our south and it's going to work its way back into the uh, Midwest and then Northeast. Cooler air is on the way, but these high pressure systems are going to be in charge again, and that will warm us up and give us more sunshine as we go through the next couple of days. And notice that low out toward California still giving them a lot of rain. So here's a look at the sky cast as we make our way through the rest of the evening. We'll clear out slightly, could have some fog tomorrow morning. Uh, low temperatures in the low to mid 20s, and then for the day after we get rid of the fog, back to mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, but still cool for this time of year as highs will be into the mid 30s to near 40 most everywhere you look. Overnight, uh, Thursday into Friday morning, uh, temperatures starting off into the lower 20s. And then uh, after some fog tomorrow morning, that burns off by your Friday afternoon, we will be into the lower 40s. So let's take a look at uh, what we were talking about to start the winter. We got this La Nina pattern, and it looks to be uh, staying uh, where we thought it would be, high pressure north of uh, Hawaii, giving us that jet stream that's ridging over the uh, Pacific Ocean and we got this moisture feed that is just coming off the Pacific Ocean really giving a lot of moisture to California the West Coast and even over the Rockies but we do have that rain shadow effect as we make our way off to the east of the Rocky Mountains so for us we are just slightly dry and uh, that those systems once again pick up moisture off the Gulf of Mexico and off the Atlantic Ocean and they're wetter than average as make your way into the Midwest and then Northeast. So uh, in terms of temperatures, the uh, jet stream is setting up just off to our north, meaning that we're warmer than average, average high around 40 this time of year. We're expecting to be a few degrees above that as this trend continues at least through the next week. So here's a look at what to expect, high pressure to our south a nice Pacific high, so uh, that will crest over us, move off to the east. We'll get rid of that cool air, warm up again with more of a southerly flow as we go through the weekend, and some sunshine for your Thursday and Friday. More clouds over the weekend as another system will skirt us just off to the north, but we will stay mainly dry. A high of 38 tomorrow, 42 on Friday, partly cloudy skies, and partly to mostly cloudy over the weekend, low to mid 40s. Now, we do have a, a couple of chances of some snow showers, a 20% chance Monday morning with a high of 42 during in the afternoon, partly cloudy Tuesday at 42, and then Wednesday we'll have a 30% chance of some rain or snow showers, mainly into the morning, and then we'll reach highs into the upper 30s. Kent? So one more day of just a little bit below average, and then we start to get a little bit above average. Yeah, temperature is not really moving much, but mid to upper 40s, warming up a little as we go through the weekend. All right, thanks, Justin. And at least 17 are dead.